winds of chaos and despair. The Almighty has spoken. He calls his chosen. Yes. Those who bear his divine might. Yeah. His saviors. We live in the book of the acts. I carry my cross on my back. My home is still stuck in the trap. Go hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. The picture through all of my walls. The picture through all of my walls. And now I'm here playing this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I've seen some examples. So I'm picking just about time now. To break the whole habit. To clean off the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life give us lemons, we turn it to vengeance. To strong in the Lord and his might now. All the tribulations, I just cannot stay the same. Wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain. The people that I love, they think that I've gone insane yeah. When it gets pretty and look at real life, they pull up and smart, they fade, yeah It's a blood in my veins, yeah I cannot stand it, I'm in, yeah But it needs to change, yeah But it needs to change, yeah I'm a man and I'm not man, yeah So I'm just switching my hands, yeah But it's all in my chain, yeah Cause when it all over, man Straight true to real and it's only your view to stay true and some tripping Angel, if you got no clue what you slipping It's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning Cause we the one set apart from the beginning All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden Walking in life and I fool with no vision I'm moving like fast to my mind steady swimming <laughs> You already know what time it is Don't let me beat you to the punch, IT I got buttons over here <laughs> All praise to the most high. Hey, welcome back to another show, the Final Trumpet Radio Show, man. We back <laughs> with a new edition. All right, we was in the woods last week. We had a good time out there at Tabernacles. Oh, yeah, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Give a round of applause for that thing right there, you know what I'm saying? See? Hey, really enjoyed the time out there with the body. Really enjoyed the fellowship uh, with the brethren. Uh, we had a real good time out there. For the regional tabernacles that we hosted, yeah. um, you know, I think the I think the body enjoyed it. What y'all think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, everybody enjoyed. It. You, know, you had multiple camps there. You had Detroit, Miami, uh, Houston, Houston, Cincinnati. Cincinnati was yeah. there. Savannah. Uh, Savannah was there. Of course, Greenville and then Columbia. Hey, Amen. It was a lot of people out there. Man. It was good. Yeah, it was man. good. Yeah. So it's definitely uh. Definitely feels good to be back in our in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Which, which is the school? So help us supporting support at iuic dot columbia dot sc at israelunite dot org. That's right. All right? right. So we got another good topic for today's show, man. Again, I'm your host, Captain Kalaya. To my right, Officer Aton. To my far right, Officer Yuanathan Yasharala. To my far far right. Officer like him. And to my left. Officer you want to talk about. My far left. Officer Marshall. Far, far left. Officer Cosdiel. And I'll read it today. Officer Yehoshua. He ain't caught up today, y'all. Hey, welcome to a right. new edition <laughs> the Final Trump Radio Show. So, you know, as always, we got a lot to cover. We're probably going to go over time and like we normally do, especially with Stop the Cap. I don't know what's going on with these guys over here, but you know. We are striving to bring more biblical solutions to the issues and problems that we see our, our people go through on a daily basis. The struggles that we uh, uh, endure day in and day out. Why these things happen to us and what does the Bible say about our condition? Because all of the answers and all of the solutions to our issues are in the Bible. And we face a lot of the hard issues, atrocities today. We're going we're yeah. to go, hit a few of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know we got we got a, a lot of content lined up, which we probably won't get to all of it, but we're going to jump right into it. Let's go with the first clip of uh, that's on the show run. Uh, the brother that was tased by these racist-ass cops, all right? And it ain't nothing new, but again, this is just more proof that they hate our damn guts. And if you think these people are your friends, you're a damn fool. All right, let's uh let's play hey. let's play this first clip. This is video Phoenix Police. Right, let's go. You turn the volume over. Arresting good. a black man who's deaf and has cerebral palsy. That arrest is violent. And in this story, we're gonna show you close body camera footage that's intense and difficult to watch. So please consider this your warning. Everybody stop where you're at. Remember, the man is deaf and has cerebral palsy. Let's see. 
Get your hands behind your back. 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 Hold them. Stay punching. And then take them. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Hey, let's pause it right there. We're gonna finish it. We're gonna let's just pause it right there. That's just that that's just the mm. beginning. I wanted us to really get some of the uh the visual context of what's taking place right here. And the story is gonna unfold as we watch the rest of the video. But the first thing that you heard the reporter say about the brother was that he was what? Deaf. deaf. He was deaf, deaf and got cerebral and palsy. And he suffered some cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. Right. Now as you as this unfolds, you're gonna see they did zero investigation. The call was actually made on a white male. Right. But then a white male said he was harassed by the a black male when the cops showed up. They flipped the immediately saw a black male and, and went and straight and attacked this brother. All right. So he jumped out of the car. He, he and he the brothers first, if somebody you walking and somebody jumps out of the vehicle on you, what's the first thing you're going to do? Right. Have defensive posture. You're going to try to defend yourself. Fight. Fight or flight. What makes this even worse is that you walking, they jump out on the uh, out of the cars on you, you can't hear. Right. 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 That's what makes it worse. You can't even hear. So you don't know what the hell going on. Right. But they're on, they on your neck. And one thing about losing one sense, your other senses get better. So his sense of... Uh, uh, depth perception and sight. He gonna be able to see somebody swinging on him. That's why he took a defensive posture. I played football with a deaf brother before, mm -hmm. and shoot, he was juking the mess out of dude because he <laughs> could see, he could feel when it was coming. So his scent, his height and awareness was there at that point in time. They took it as defense. At, well, it was defense, but they took it as oh, he's trying to resist us. Mm -hmm. No, he can't. He don't know what you're there for. Right, and, and it gets worse. You got something you want to say? Yeah, I was gonna. I looked up the the. Symptoms. Symptoms. The well, meaning, the, the meaning what, of what you, palsy. What, yeah, cerebral yeah. palsy and like what it causes. Mm -hmm. And one of the the symptoms is exaggerated reflexes and involuntary motions. Right. Exaggerated reflexes on a cop is deadly. Yes. Right. That's deadly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That he he can't control that. It's involuntary. Right. But that could have easily, you know, that's escalated to him escalated, being put to death. Right. Exactly. Hey, that's a good point. That's a good point. Hey, let's go back to the clip real quick. Wow. Hand behind your back! 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 More! Hand behind your back! Hand behind your back! Between the two officers, the man is punched at least ten times and tasered four times. Wow. Yeah. This is crazy. No, he can't understand them. And he's, he's deaf and he's he physically tell, compromised. He yelling, no nothing. The entire thing is just outrageous. That's Jesse Showalter. He agreed to watch the video with us. And that's because he's an attorney for Tyrone McAlpin. Together, they're planning to bring an excessive force lawsuit against the Phoenix Police Department. Circle K employees had a white, uh, a Caucasian male in the store causing problems, and they called to they called the police to trespass this person who wouldn't leave. Pause. 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 You see, you see this, right? Mm. Cause that was my, that was gonna be my question. Why did they show up? Right. Why was they there for them to say that? Mm -hmm. So there was a white male causing problems in the store, and the uh, employees called the cops because a white man. Was being disruptive in the store. Right. Mm -hmm. Play on. Let's let let's continue playing. Let's say, well, let's watch how this whole thing unfolds and turns around on on the brother. You said trespass. Okay. And when police arrive, they don't do any investigation to find out what this guy was doing in the store. Instead, uh, they talk to the guy, and he claims that he was assaulted, and points to somebody in the street. Pause. That claims. You see what happened? Yeah, liar. Dang. So they didn't approach the person. It, we just experienced that when we were shooting the video. They didn't approach the people that was trying to get the damn drone out the tree. 
right. They ask us what's going on. They approach a whole nother situation. That's just, we experienced that right here in this at the school parking lot. Right. When they, when the police showed up, they didn't sh- they didn't want to talk to us first. They went and talked to the damn person that's causing all the damn the ruckus first. Mm-hmm. That don't make no sense. Crazy. Same thing in this situation. The 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 employees called the police because the white male was being with, disruptive with, right. in the store. The police get there. They don't go to the workers who's probably Jake any damn way because right. we the ones that work at them damn circle mm-hmm. case. Mm-hmm. They approach the the person that's being disruptive and ask him what's going on. Yep. And then he says, "Oh." I was attacked by a black man. And then off of that, they just take off and go and mess with this deaf brother. It's get, it, it gets worse. It gets worse. Press play. The guy pointed at Tyrone, who was across the street. You're saying that's the guy that's that, that, right there. So look, the so look, pause. He's the real perpetrator. Right, right. Right, <laughs> right. they're talking to the dude. They're talking to the perpetrator. God. And they treating him like he the one that called a cop. Yes. Right. <laughs> it's like, it's right, crazy. Yeah. So. No aggression. No takedown. No nothing. No right. nothing. No taser. No right. punch in the face. Not even. Are you the one that called the cops? They ain't even asked. Right. But it wouldn't have been no need to ask because the person that called the cops was in the store. Was a female. Right. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it was a female. It's crazy, man. Play on. I mean, so we have a situation where the officers respond. Some white guy says, hey, no, some black guy assaulted me, and they just drop what they're doing and head right over there. That, that's what the video shows. He was standing outside the door open and said, yeah, that dude, why don't you wait here for a The black guy? Yeah. And that takes us back to this point. Let's see. And this police officer, out of the gate, assaults him, and then uses Tyrone's attempts to protect himself to try to justify felony charges. Officials charged Tyrone with aggravated assault and resisting arrest. In their reports, officers wrote Tyrone tried to walk away from them, took a fighting stance, threw repeated punches at them, and bit one of them. Everything that I see in that video, as well as the other officers. <laughs> Look, I press pause think. real quick. Tyrone, Tyrone was fighting. <laughs> yo, he was fighting for his life. Bro. Damn right. <laughs> yo, he said that nigga slow motion dude throwing punches. You, right. Hey, Tyrone was not hey, having it, man. Hey, read that what you what you just had again. What is cerebral palsy? These are the symptoms right. of cerebral palsy. Poor coordination, weak or stiff muscles, tremors, exaggerated reflexes, involuntary motions, and floppy or rigid limbs. You see that when and you when you see Tyrone, first thing he's right, first, right. yeah, first he's, he's fighting for his damn mm-hmm. life. So they use his natural reaction to defend himself to make him an uh, uh, enemy, a terrorist. Yeah, they call right. it an assault. He's, right. a, he's being aggressive. Assault. Could look how they hopped out the car on him. Right. right. I mean, Tyrone, <laughs> like yeah, the store or Ty- Tyrone like not hell. used to two white men jumping out and start grabbing him. Right. Right. Hey, listen, right. ain't nobody used to two right. white men <laughs> no. rolling up and right. jumping out grabbing him. All right. Hey, let's go back to the video. It looks like Tyrone's just trying to avoid being harmed by these officers. And that only makes them escalate the situation and increase the, vi- the degree of violence that they're using. One of the officers says Tyrone bit him. I mean, what, what, what do you, how do you respond to that? Tyrone was face down on the ground with two officers striking and choking him, and that the only way that Tyrone could have possibly bit anybody on the hand or wrist is if one of those officers placed their hand or wrist in his mouth. And what it looks like from the video is that the officer who claims he was bitten was using an illegal right, choke, choke hold him. on yeah, Tyrone. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, here's the question that, you know, if invariably, in undoubtedly will be asked. Why didn't he just comply? And, and the answer is easy, is he's deaf. He right. couldn't understand what they were doing. Right. And he had done nothing wrong. What this, no reason. What kind of disabilities he right, has? Watch this. He's deaf and he's got cerebral palsy. Pause, okay. pause, pause. So that means... Talk. The, what you about to say? No, no. So they, so go. So that's the woman. That's the woman. They called. Yes. And now they all of a sudden they now they hear from her when she come out. Yes. After all of that, nobody got her her input from the beginning. No. Hey, the she, brother didn't even make a fist. No. <laughs> no, yo. That's and why listen, I said he got flimsy limbs and stuff, man. Now they find out he got cerebral palsy. And he deaf. And he's deaf. At this point. At this point, right? And look, it's dark outside. Right, now. right. It done been on him for a minute right. now. Hey, go back, go back to the video. Back it up a little bit. Wow. 
No deal. And, and the answer is easy, is he's deaf. He couldn't understand what they were doing, and he had done nothing wrong. What, dis no reason. what kind of disabilities do you have? Pause it. Play on. Okay. And I've been on the phone with yeah, him since Circle K. How is he deaf if you've been on the phone? Because I spoke sign language, that's why. I signed to him. That's why. Nowhere in their police reports did the two officers document they were told about Tyrone's mm. disabilities. So, the listen, I know what I wanted to say. Obviously, the clerk has a relationship with Tyrone. Right? Yep. Tyrone right. go there all the time. Yep. Right. Right. They know him. Right. He go there all the time. Tyrone ain't did a damn thing, and, and now he's got, he's got charges for assault. Hey, you know what they don't show? Is the interaction between the police and the woman from the very beginning? Mm -hmm. You know when she came, when she had to make the complaint of who did it, and they went out there and talked to the guy. Oh, you they know. yeah, because they was in the store at first. Right. Yeah, that, you, that's a good catch. They did that. That was not played. His skin color just had value, though. That's it. That's, that's it. it. Hey, let's finish the video. So when another cop went back to check store surveillance footage and talked to witnesses. None of it supported the white guy's claims. Now, as you just heard, Tyrone is still facing several felony charges. In fact, even though those officers are under internal investigation, they still just went into court to testify against Tyrone. Unbelievable. And as you can see, our cameras were there, and a judge ruled there was probable cause oh, for the case to move wow. forward. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey. <laughs> How? <laughs> this, this, I'm, I'm glad we got to this point, because in the court of law, there should be no hats on. Right. But this guy, an officer of the law, you see one without the hat on, but you see this guy in the court of law with his hat on. So who he is he really? Who is he, he really? He knows with, somebody in there. He knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Who Man. is he really? Hey, this is a prime example of scripture. Let's, hey, let, let's finish the clip. Go back to the clip, finish it. And as you can see, our cameras were there, and a judge ruled there was probable cause for the case to move forward. Now, in our next report, you'll hear those officers on the stand, hear their justification for the arrest, and you'll also see... You see, the judge is in agreement that there was probable cause for this brother to be charged. And he ain't do nothing. He, was, he, he wasn't in the store. He, first of all, the cops was not called on him. Right. He was not in the store causing a, a, a ruckus. The witnesses in the store says it wasn't him. How do they justify charging the brother? Right. And there was no form of de-escalation or reasoning with the person to find out whether or not they're impaired or capable of receiving instruction to stop or freeze or whatever they wanted to do. They go straight to swinging and violence. Exactly. Right. Hey, let me get her Becca. You know what I want. Damn. Rebecca yeah. chapter 1 and verse 4. We got to understand the Bible is a true book. These conditions that we suffer as a people will continue until we get our minds right with the Lord. Hey. We are in a, we are in a dire, how you say it? Dire, dire, straight. yeah, dire, dire straight. straits right now. Like this is, this is ridiculous. Uh, read that real quick. The book of Rebecca chapter 1 and verse 4. Yeah. Therefore, the law is slack. What's wrong with the law? The law is slack. The scripture says the law is slack. Come on. And judgment doth never go forth. And judgment don't go forth. It, it, you can have all the evidence that you did not commit a crime. Once you charge with that thing, it's going it, to, hey, only the Lord can save you from a situation like that. Only the Lord can save you from a situation like that because the system is designed and set up for the win of the other side. Read it again. Therefore, the law is slack. Because the people that set up the law, <laughs> they set it up in their favor. Come on. And judgment doth never go forth. Judgment don't never go forth. We're going to see, like, I, I think, I don't know if there's a part two to this video yet. Uh, IT, if y'all can look for the part two, maybe from the same um, channel or the same, uh, what is this? Uh, that is on. Source. That's on X. Yeah, it was on X. Yeah, so if you can go to X, uh, which is Twitter, used to be Twitter, whatever it is, see if there's a, a part two to it. Maybe we can get the other part of the story. I only had this uh, this one clip, but there's probably a part two to it by now. If not, we want to continue to follow this because the law is slack, and our people think that eventually we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna get some justice in this system. There ain't gonna be no yeah, justice, man. No.
Uh-huh. There ain't going to be no justice in this system. It's going to continue to be the same way. Right. And that, that clip, I went back and just looked at it from when they got out the car on him to when they found out when the lady came out that he's deaf. They was on that man for over 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Damn. Wow. They was on that man for over 15 minutes before they found out he was deaf and that uh, he has cerebral palsy. Damn, damn near another George Floyd. And, yeah. when right. She, right. and when she told him that he was deaf and had cerebral palsy, he immediately tried to discredit it. Right. He said, well, how was you on the phone then? Right. right. Exactly. Right. How right. was you talking to him? Exactly. Like, come on, bro. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, let's go to the, uh, what's that next clip? Because... <sighs> It's like, it's like it's almost you got some. It's almost like the same thing all the time because it is the same thing all the time. Yep. All right. You got to continue to handle these different situations in our people's head so that they can see what's really going on in society. These folks ain't your friend. What you got, uh, Eli? It's, it was a little bit more on that one. All right, read on. It says, "Therefore, the law is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth. Uh-huh. For the wicked doth compass the righteous." Go ahead. We go, bring it out. You got, hey, okay. bring it out. Read the part again. For the wicked doth compass the righteous. The wicked, right? As it says in Malachi, that the wicked, the wicked, right? The capital W is the nation of Edom, which it gives a clue to in verse six as well. Go ahead. You want verse six? Uh, finish that one in this verse six. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. Mm-hmm. Wrong six. judgment, like them having probable cause to beat up a guy right. who did absolutely right. nothing. Uh huh. Here's a clue. Read verse 6. Verse 6. For lo, I raise up the Chaldeans. The Chaldeans, which is the daughter of, well, a part of the Babylonians. But as in Psalms 137, it explains to us that that is Edom, Esau, which is the wicked. It mentions in verse 4. And how are they? Verse 7. You said verse 7? Yeah. They are terrible and dreadful. They are terrible and dreadful. Read. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Their reputation of murderousness and mm. being hasty to violence. I think it says that too. Yeah, uh, verse 9. Verse uh, 9. Verse nine. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Verse 9. They shall come all for violence. Mm-hmm. Oh, 6. Verse go six. back to 6 and read verse 6. Verse 6. For lo, I raise up the Chaldeans, uh-huh. that bitter and hasty nation. Which is actually speaking about Esau, read. Which shall march... Through the breath of the land. Mm-hmm. In to, this day and age, talking about Esau, read. To possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. Which they have the Magna Carta and the Manifest Destiny mindset. Wherever we see people, they're ours. We do them how we want. Hey. They're bitter and hasty. And verse 8, mm-hmm. which you don't have to read, is pretty much that Deuteronomy 28 and 49 as well. For y'all, those, those of y'all who looking on, reading along at home. Right, right, right. Hey, all praise to the most high. A good catch. I'm glad you. I'm glad you finished bringing that out. What's that right there? You you just pulled up. Is that the second part of it? Let's play that. Let's play that and see what's going on with it. Oh, that, this is the actual court footage. Damn demons, boy. We got it. That's how all of this could have been avoided. The defendant had just put his hands down. Or, or said, I, I can't hear, or I need to write, or something Pause like real that. quick. I'm, I'm, you already <laughs> pause it. You already see the bullshit. Right. Huh? You already see the bull. So he's grabbing his hands, and he's supposed to tell you with his hands. How he supposed to tell he you? can't hear you. And he just jumped. You just jumped straight out of the car. And start swinging. Right. Like, what? Right. You jumped out of the car with your hands reaching towards me first. Right. How am I supposed to tell you? That I'm deaf. Come t- t- on now, dog. Man, this don't make no damn sense. Right. Come on, man. Exactly. Right. Play on. Dang. His hands down, or, or said, I, I can't hear, or I need to write, or something like that. What would you have done? I would have Shot. had him sit down, made motions okay. with my hands to have him sit down. Uh, and then I would have. Bruh. Bro, hey. He pulled up he right. intentionally exactly. to put that man to, on the floor. Bro, exactly. Hey, back it up Never just a little it. bit more. Yeah, Look how fast he pulled yeah. up. On, <laughs> he he pulled up on him like he kidnapped no, he, he barely, right. bro. He barely put the damn car in park. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, play. Or I need to write or something like that. What would you have done? All right, pause it. What would you have done? Let's see what he. <laughs> no. Let's see what he said. He would have. He would have motioned for him to put his hands down, right. you know, write or to write down something. Let's see if he had time to, to actually do that. Play. I can't hear or I need to write or something like that. What would you have done? I would have 
had him sit down. Try to dodge the car. So they about hit him with the car. Right. Door. Yeah, they, 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 what are you supposed to do? Just door keep open. walking. Before, hey, listen, the, the door was open before the vehicle before stopped. Before the vehicle stopped, bro. Right. Hey, back it up just a little bit again. Look, he said, I, I, want to, I would have motioned for him to sit down. How right. are you going to motion for him to sit down when you burst out of the car and you're reaching for him? You don't know what's going on right now. You ain't got a clue. Like, this man ain't got a clue of what's happening, and you ain't got a thought of telling nobody to sit down. That no. is not your thought. Your thought pattern is to get his ass on the ground, you know what I'm saying, to lay him on it and get them handcuffs on him. That's what he's thinking about, putting them on the ground and putting them in handcuffs. Pre press play again. What would you have done? I would have had him sit down. Pause it. Pause it. How are you going to have him sit down? But as soon as you get it, the door's still open, right. the car's still the car's damn still going moving. in, in, yeah, in <laughs> right. motion, you already leaned in trying to slam him on the ground. Right. How you, you going to get him to sit down? Mouth, how he going to tell him he can't hear? Hey. Right. He's saying, hey, buddy, how you doing? This <laughs> is some bullshit, man. Right. These people hate your damn guts. Right. This is the reality of our situation. Right. right. Play on. Made motions with my hands to have him sit down, uh, and then I would have got a pen you wouldn't have paper and pen out for him you wouldn't have punched him in the what? head and knocked him again. <laughs> hey, no pause now pause it again so if you would have did all of that who told you that he was deaf and had cerebral palsy at the time that you, you jumped out of your damn car like the damn uh uh, uh atf or something all right yeah um, that's how the jump out boys used to move and they jumped yeah, dead out yeah. they put everybody on the ground without hesitation right that's some human trafficker type of right. jump out right yeah, there. Yeah, it All was. Right. He kid, he <laughs> really? left, it was yeah. like he about to kidnap that brother. Exactly. Man, let's play on. Let's get to the testimony from Officer Sue. Um, as I was going to pull in the park, I looked over and observed the defendant act actively swing at Officer Harris, and then I... As I was putting my car in the park, and I jumped out and ran over there. Sue's body camera fell off. But during the arrest, he testified that Tyrone bit his hand. Can, can you hold up your hand high so we can see, show the judge exactly, show the point where it was that he bit you? Right there. Okay. There's no body camera footage that shows the bite. And here's what happened when Tyrone's attorneys asked the officer to go through the video. Anywhere in there? Nope. And stop at the moment when he says Tyrone bit him. Right there. The moment Officer Sue pinpointed is when the other officer's camera pans up and you can't see Tyrone. The defense wow. asked Sue if it was possible that he cut or scraped his hand on Tyrone's mouth or the ground while choking him. But Officer Sue said no and denied using a chokehold. Is that your arm there, around directly around his throat? The right. one on the bottom? Yes. That's my arm. Okay. So you're not choking. So right. you, you can't make this stuff up. Right. How in the world he going to say he didn't use an illegal move and his arm is right there under the man throat? Right. Yeah. And look, that's his hand cupping. His other hand. Yeah. So he got him pulling. Yeah. Trying to break his neck. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Play on. Play. Around Tyrone's throat, correct? Looks too hard to tell. That ain't so too how, hard. How is this not a chokehold? That ain't too hard to tell, bro. That's bull. Dude, shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding. Right. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Shut your white mind, mouth. Man. He, it ain't hard to tell, bro. You, his hands is like, it's like this. Um, he, he, yeah, he's trying to he's trying to lock him in right. and pull him out like that. Man, right. he, he, he he recognized it enough to say I got bit, but to say I did something illegal and all the protocol that I'm giving as a police, I, 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 I can't, I, I, it's too I, hard to tell. I can't do that. Yo, that's Lies. crazy. All right, let's finish it. When I think of a chokehold, I think of two arms from the same person yeah if you can get it that moment, way the prosecution then got back up to prove tyrone bit the officer first showing pictures then asking for a demonstration Finger. would you open up your mouth and stick your wrist in your mouth it won't fit say again could you open your mouth <laughs> it won't and stick fit your wrist you. in your mouth and then pull it out to the side did you just cut your arm Jack Yarner, this is extremely mm. speculative. That ain't speculative. Really That's the truth. The world. Right. Just watched him do it. That's not speculation. He's demonstrating. Okay. Officer, the did you just cut your arm when you did that? I did not. At this time, I do believe the state has presented sufficient evidence to us. In the end, cause. the judge found there was probable cause for the you criminal can. case to move the forward judge against Tyrone. Yeah. 
He uh, in on it too. Oh, uh, right. Against Tyrone? Yeah. yeah, against, yeah. against Tyrone. Hey, that's yeah. Habakkuk chapter one again. That's yeah. what that that's what we that's what we looking at. Read it again. Habakkuk chapter one and verse four. Therefore, the law is slack. The law is slack, man. These are the people that set themselves in position. Hey, go get go hold that. Get that in Micah real quick. I want Micah uh two and I mean you can start at one, but I want uh let me see. Uh, hell, just read from verse 1. The book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bed. Come on. When the morning is light, they practice it uh-huh. because it is in the power of their hands. It's in the, the law is in the power of their hands. All of this is in the power of their hands. Right. There is nothing that you can do once you end up in this system, man. Everything works in their favor. There's nothing that's going to work in your favor. Like, nothing. Hey, can I get a scripture on that? Go ahead. Give me Psalms 94 and 20. Because right, what you're saying, Captain, is right. They got all the power. And so, hey, they do what they do. They they lie very well. Mm -hmm. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity... Have fellowship with thee, uh-huh. which frameth mischief by a law. They frameth lies by law. Exactly. Right. I'm right. sitting there saying, hey, you know what? He, he was resisting. He, he bit you. And when there's never any evidence, they always give him the benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. There was no evidence that that black man did anything to them. Right. But outside that white man who was accused, who you was questioning, now say he was assaulted by a black man. What that had to do with you in that store? Right. Right. Exactly. That woman didn't call and say it was a fight in the store. It was two people fighting. She said he wouldn't leave. Right. He was being disrupted. Right. It was trespass. a trespass. Right. A trespass. Now you invite you. You brought a black man in it. Right. And and guess what? The police is giving the benefit of the doubt. You know that's how they think. Every call they get. Every call they get. The first image that pops in their head is a Negro. nigga. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Read, read the next verse. Verse twenty one. They gather themselves together. Against the soul of the righteous. Hey, that's your prosecutor. That's your judge. They mm-hmm. all gathering together against the souls of the righteous. Read. Mm-hmm. And condemn the innocent blood. And that's what happens. They ready right. to frame this man. They ready right. to condemn this man. And because why? He don't have a voice. He can't speak. He can't right. speak for himself. Exactly. Hey, read 22. Read 22. <laughs> Verse 22. But the Lord is my defense. That's the only way you get, we can get out of this situation right, right. here. <laughs> right. The Lord is our defense against these things. Come on. And my God is the rock of my refuge. And my God, our God is the rock of our refuge. We got to turn back to him. Read on. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. All the iniquity, that, all the evil that they've done to us. All the, 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 the rape, rob, murder, the, the accusing that they've done to us. They are going to pay for it. Read that again. Mm-hmm. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. Uh-huh. And shall cut them off. In their own wickedness. They're going to be cut off in their own wickedness. Read. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. They're going to be cut off, but we got to get our mind right. Right. We got to get our mind right. Hey, Cap, can we go back to Micah? Yes, sir. Back to that Micah 2. Mm -hmm. Go back to Micah 2. Read, read, uh, yeah, read 1, 2, and 3. The book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Yep. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So like Cap brought out, they, this, this evil nation, they, they work evil upon their bed. Go ahead. And they covet fields uh-huh. and take them by violence. Go ahead. And the houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, mm-hmm. even a man and his heritage. And they oppress us so bad that they'll even uh-huh. take our heritage and claim to even be us. But read verse 3. Verse 3. Therefore, thus saith the Lord. Behold, against this family do I devise an evil. So against this family, God devised an evil. Go ahead. From which ye shall not remove your necks. That's why he got his arm wrapped around his neck. Right. We can't get our darn necks out from around them because they literally taking their arms and putting our necks in a chokehold constantly in oppression. Right. And that's why, and that's what you see. You got a brother that can't talk. Mm-hmm. He Well, he can't hear it because if you can't hear you can't talk either. Right. Because your speech is going to be all over the place. Then then he already got cerebral palsy. So he's been like that since birth. So he can't speak for himself. And now they got a whole people or a whole nation, including the judge, 
who's in on all of it? And then we wondering, then we sitting up here wondering why all these things keep happening. And that's why we try to bring the solutions to our people, man. Finish it up. Neither shall you go heartily. Uh huh. For this time is evil. For this time is an evil time for our people. Mm-hmm. It's been an evil time since they got in power. Right. Unbelievable. Hey, let me, let me get a piece of that. Get uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy 28 and start at verse 49. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. It's important for us to understand that this is going to continue to happen to black people. This is going to continue to happen to Hispanics. It's going to continue to happen to Native Americans, the Israelites, because we are under the curses. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, Uh Mm -hmm. from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. This is talking about the nation of Edom, the so-called white man. That is him. Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Read. A nation of fierce countenance, uh-huh. which shall not regard the person of old, Read. nor show favor to the young. What does that mean? They don't right. give a damn that he's deaf. Right. They don't right. give a right. damn that he got cerebral palsy. They don't give a damn that he's older. They don't give a. Da- they don't care. Right. They have a hatred for the nation of Israel. It's in their blood. It's in their spirit. It's in their bro. Hey, hey, you in the spirit, bro? Hey, let me get that. <laughs> let me get that and do the right. What you, what you just read? I want, 20, I want 27. Verse I want 27 and 41. Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse... You said Deuteronomy 27? No, no. I want Genesis uh, 27 41. Yeah, bring that out. Genesis chapter right. 27. You in the spirit, bro. I'm telling you. You in the spirit, bro. These folks hate your guts. It's just in them. Right. It's in them. Man, let's get Genesis 25. <laughs> let's get Jesus 25 let's just, let's just go into it I'm sorry I know we had 10 minutes on this segment right here we ain't gonna get to the next clip but it's alright but the Word. spirit has moved right, you keep yeah, it let's go let's go Genesis 25 let's start at uh, let me see well, verse 21 yeah Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21 Ooh, and man. Isaac entreated oh the wait a minute he hit the wrong one wow. that, that's the one he was trying to hit right there <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Read that again. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. Come on. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. Rebekah and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So from the time that Jacob, who was us, and Esau, who was the so-called white man, put that image on the screen right there. Share this image right here. From the time that we've been in the womb together. Read that again. And she said, if it be so. Uh Uh-uh, read up. And the children struggle together within her. Put the picture back up there. Let the people see it. Right. Let them see this is Jacob and Esau struggling together in the womb. From the time that we have been conceived and and, and became more than just a damn sperm cell in the womb. Right. The struggle has been there. Read it again. And the children struggle together within her. Come on. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? If this be of the Lord, why is this hell taking place in my stomach? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. So from the beginning, God said, there are two nations in your womb, Rebecca. Read. And two manner of people. Shall be separated from thy bowels. And two different types of people are going to be separated from your bowels. This is two different types of people. Right. They are not the same people. These are not identical twins. Right. right. Come on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. So one of these people, one of these nations in your womb is going to be stronger than the other nation. Who's the stronger? Is it the so-called white man? Or is it the mighty, mighty black man on the earth? The mighty, sure. mighty black man. It's the mighty black man. Right. You, you, they couldn't have survived right. slavery the way we no. did. Yeah. Right. We are that yeah. stronger people. Yeah. 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 Read on. And the elder shall serve the younger. This is what people get confused at. It says the elder one is going to serve the younger one. Read on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh-huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. She got twins in her womb. In her womb. Come on. Not identical twins. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So put the picture back up there. The first one came out red all over like a hairy garment. Put him, put him up there. I know that ain't no baby, but, you know, I want, I, want a, I want the baby picture. I want the red baby. 
Put the red baby back up there. Read that again. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Uh -huh. And they called his name Esau. So the first child came out red and hairy. What do we call the uh, white man here in South Carolina? Red neck. Red neck. Red neck. Red neck. Yeah, they, they neck just red just because the, that's that's Bible. Right. You look at they, you look at Bro. the back of their neck. What happened to the baby picture? They ain't put it up there yet. Yeah. You look at the back of a, a, a of the so-called white man neck, you look through his face in his face, you can see the blood showing forth through his skin. Right. Hey, can we get the definition of Edom? Let's get the definition of Edom. You can leave that on the screen and then you can look up the definition of Edom. The definition of Edom. I know this is all impromptu, and it's because the spirit moved <laughs> off of the Cosdiel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. We got to we, we gotta show you what the Bible is saying. Look how Jacob got Esau neck right now. <laughs> right. right. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> 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 it's that biblical yeah, yeah. ultrasound exactly. right there. <laughs> hey, hey, you think you, hey, you, you, might, you might go out first. But I'm gonna be I'm the one that's gonna rule in the end. That's what the conversation is right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kick your ass out the wound first. You're getting out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But before you go, I'm gonna hold on to your heel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Showing that we're gonna have that, we're gonna have that rulership and that power in the end. I want the definition of Edom. That uh is it's a biblical definition. I'll put it in the show run. Okay. Let's share that real let's share that real quick. Is that the one we want? Yeah, read that. It says, what is the meaning of Edom? Red. Huh. Name. The Hebrew word Edom means red, the and the Hebrew Bible relates it to the name of its founder, Esau. Okay, so now, who is red? Let's put the other picture back up that you had up there before of, I mean, it's a little dull, but it's still Esau. It's still Esau. You know what I'm saying? The old man, the old man that you had up there a minute ago. You can drop him. I ain't going to go back to him. You can drop him. You can drop him and put the old man up there. Yeah. I want a red man. It's Esau in his natural habitat. Yeah. Right. I want the old man. Because, read that again. Read, read verse 20, 23 again. Verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Mm -hmm. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Come on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. That's your so-called white man today who is not white. He is red because the blood show forth through his skin. Hey. Edom, Esau means red. Come on. And they called his name Esau. His name is Esau biblically, not the white man. Not uh 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 the cracker. Right. Call him Esau. Call him who he is. Right. That's what Bishop been telling us. We gotta start using the words in the Bible. Right. His name Esau. Yeah. His name Esau. Call him Esau. Eat him. Right. Call him Eat him. That's his name. Me. I, I do, do me. Uh. Yeah. Don't let him hide from his name no more. I play this little game, right? This little hunting game. My name on there is Eat him Slayer. <laughs> 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 hey, they don't like me, bro. They be trying to. I be. I be killing the hell out of their ass on them. <laughs> Eat him Slayer. Call him his name. Right. Let him know that you are the one that the Bible has no promises for. You are the one that the Bible prophesies ultimate destruction of. Read. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. Now, there's a lot in that which we ain't going to jump into. There's prophecies written in, in, in that little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The colors of the two uh, of Jacob w was not mentioned, but the color of Esau was mentioned. We got all of that stuff online. So if you're watching this for the first time, go check out some of them older classes. We ain't going to break all that down. Just go right to 27 and 41 real quick because officer said that it's just in their DNA. Right. The Bible is telling you, like, look, from the time they was in the womb, they've been fighting and struggling, and it ain't gonna stop. That's why uh, Tyrone is going through what he's going through. Yeah. That's why our brother gonna go through it. Go through that next week. Yeah. Right. Read right. Genesis chapter twenty-seven and verse forty-one. And Esau hated Jacob. He hates your guts, man. Bring it out. He hates our guts. Right. Read. Because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. He, he hated him for more than the blessing. He hated him since the time we was in the womb. That's just his nature. His nature is starting to, he's growing up and growing into who he really is. Hey. He's, come, he, he's becoming who he really 
is in by nature. And that's the thing that we don't take us consider into consideration. I see it all the time. You know what I'm saying? You got the little white kid and the little black kid that's growing up together. Right. Uh, at, at, at seven years old, they all right together. Right. At 10, you know, it start to change a little bit. By 13, 14 years old, that ain't the same cracker. Right. He done grown into that ain't the same E done might. He done grown up into something else now. Right. That's he, he's damn near a full blown devil. Right. He hates your guts. He just he just ain't gonna say it. Now he's gonna smile about it. Right. But our people don't take this in consideration. Is there more on that? Yes, sir. Finish that up. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And that's what you still got to this very day. Yep. They are still slaying their brother Jacob. Right. If they could have justifiably killed that man, they would have. Oh, right. Yeah. 100%. Right. If they felt like they, you know what I'm saying, they had, he, he was moving a little too much, they would have pulled that trigger. They tased that man about 20 that times. Right. They said they tased him four said, times. Sheesh, bro. Mm -hmm. Punched him over 10 times and right. tased him four times. They wanted to kill his ass. Yes. Right. They wanted they to. It, it, was, it was just too many uh, uh, variables in right. the area at the time. Right. right. Had it been a little bit more or less variable, Tyrone right. would be a dead Tyrone. Let right it now. let it not have been at a public gas station. Right. And let it would have been a little darker. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. That'd have been that'd have been Tyrone ass. Yep. Right. Now we ain't I know we got another clip that we wanted to uh go into, but you know, I think we done reached our main topic time slot. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. We ain't got our timer right now, but you know, we're gonna close out the the the, the, the main segment right now. We're gonna jump into our sub. That's what you call it. Our sub, sub segments. segments. You know what I'm saying? Starting with crucial content, which y'all gonna be changing our name to what? Yeah. Go on, tell them, Moses. What y'all right. changing name to? Out. Not my pastor. Not my damn pa <laughs> 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 Not my pastor. Not my pastor. Right. Yes, uh, your pastor. Oh, praises. <laughs> hey, uh, let's run. Let's run that intro. Let's get it going. <laughs> Not a test. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, see, got a little background beat, you know? Got a little background beat. Hey. <laughs> So hey, so welcome, welcome to another, you know, we say crucial con content, but uh we gonna deal with the not my pastor. We're gonna fix all of that later. But uh hey, pull up that last video that was posted in crucial content. Pull up that video with 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 the Christianity, the black community's favorite pastor. pastor. Michael Todd. <laughs> Can't freaking make this stuff up. God oh, Michael Todd. Yeah, put him on there. Like a living nightmare. Yeah, this dude says something dumb. He is, he is, yeah, this dude says something dumb almost all the time. Not my pastor. I haven't heard him say one smart thing since, <laughs> right. since, I've, since, I've, since I've known of this dude. And that's all I only know about him when I come into the truth. I ain't even know about this dude. This dude is ridiculous. Let's play that video right there. It says Michael Todd judges God. It says God is wrong. God decided male and female. I, no, 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 I'm not, this is not a bad, I need y'all to hear my heart on this. This is not a bashing, this is not a, he, if I was there, maybe I would have told him, is there something in the middle you could do? Like kind of a, like a little maybe if somebody, well, I was born like this, I don't know how I feel, that I, I feel you. And I wish that there was an option of other in the kingdom. Wow. This I, dude I said <laughs> he wished there was an option of other in the kingdom. I'm telling you, as, as you say, there it is. Right. As, as you say, y'all 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 is gay. <laughs> this dude, hey, that dude is really gay, man. Ain't no way in the world. That hey, dude is really gay. I'm going to tell you, he started it off wrong with me. He said, Bro, let me, not see that video. He said, let me tell you about my heart. <laughs> Hey, huh? before right. he can even go, you already know this brother finna speak a lie when he say I'm gonna tell you out my heart. Yeah, you know what I mean. Give me that Mark seven twenty one. Just, <laughs> just to set this thought up. <laughs> Cause anytime these pastors speak from their heart and not this Bible, mm -hmm. you know they're telling a the lie. Unbelievable. You know they're telling a the lie. The lie is coming. <laughs> Look, Officer Cars is messed up. 
Put the camera on. Bro. <laughs> the camera on. That's crazy. Hey, yo. Yo, that joke's crazy. I That's... did not see that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That's crazy, bro. He got a problem with He's God. He's talking about, I don't know. Right. Is there you... a maybe? What the hell is wrong uh, other. with you, bro? Uh, other. Unbelievable. Yo. Hey, I'm sorry. He, he 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 he's trying to justify his own stuff right now because he is gay. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, go ahead. The book of Mark, chapter seven and verse twenty-one. From within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. That's what's in the heart of uh, Pastor Todd. Evil thoughts, and his evil thought is he don't agree with God. He don't agree with male and female. I mean, did God not make man perfect? Did he not make the woman perfect? Mm. The person that got a problem with that is who? That homosexual. Gay. That's transgender. Yeah. <laughs> they the one that's unhappy with, with their mate. Read that again from the top. From within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, uh-huh. adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eye. Blasphemy, pride, and foolishness. All these sins are in the thoughts of men. That's what's within our hearts. That's what. That's why we in the state that we're in now because we're led by our hearts, and those hearts are always evil thoughts. Read. Hey. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. And that's what's been defiling these pastors, going by their evil thoughts, going by their own understanding, and not the word of God. Right. Go back right. to that video. You guess so. Yes, sir. A Job chapter 4, verse 17. Oh, please. Because the man said, as a sermon being given by someone in the position of a spiritual leader to thousands of people, that the matter of male and female to him should have been done better or a different way. <laughs> Right. The man right. got the like, audacity. He's like, if I was there, I would have yeah, asked no. for another. You're freaking ridiculous, man. You. <laughs> Okay, read this. <laughs> Job chapter four. Fly off the handle. Go ahead. <laughs> Job chapter four and verse seventeen. Uh-huh. Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a human being that, as he is, was designed by God, looking and being in the form and fashion that he is, two arm, two leg, ten toe, ten fingers, the way that the form of what it said in Genesis, let's make man in our image. And then the woman in the image of the man uh, subsequently. The only two that there are mm, and the only two right. that there should be because that is what God made it to be. So read that again. Shall mortal man be more just than God? But you and your form of justice to be appeasing to the homosexual and LGBT community says that you have created a better solution because the male and female uh, uh, system that the Most High had made with not just the animals too. But the plants also, with the what, the pistol and the stamen, you got the male and female parts. All of it works the way that it is supposed to work. But you know something better. Read it one more time. Shall mortal man be more just than God? Read. Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Shall the thing that is made have more understanding than the one that made it? Come on, man. That's all I got. I need you to shut that Yo, out. Yo, go to, go to, go to. <laughs> Hey, I like Cap. Hey, Cap on the buttons. Hey, go to Psalms, Psalms uh, 49, Psalms 49 and 20. Matter of fact, read, read 13. The book of let Psalms. Me see, let me see. Chapter, yes, read thir- uh, 12, 12 and 13. The book of Psalms, chapter 49 and verse 12. <laughs> Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. So man being on people honor this dude. This dude is, is he's a, he's a leader to dummies. Right. And that's the part that makes me mad is that this people listen to this dude as though he's saying something deep. But like this said, nevertheless, a man been in honor about if not, so he ain't keeping up commandments. He ain't got no understanding. Go ahead. He is like the beast that perished. He's like a beast that perished. Go to 13. Read on. Verse 13. This their way is their folly. Uh-huh. Yet their, pos- yet their posterity approve their sayings. So they use the fact that they got these riches and stuff like that, and people people gasp up on that and think they saying something deep. Jump to 20 again. It's going to say the same thing. Verse 20. So then it says that, nevertheless, being in honor, abide if not. Abide if not in what? Go ahead. Man that is in honor and understand if not. He don't understand the freaking Bible. He, he don't understand God. He's sitting up here trying to tell people that supposedly Christians 
good Christian folk on Sunday. Yet and still, they don't understand a single word. He's up here telling them, look, if I was there, I would have asked God, could there be an in-between? A maybe. So there's a such thing. This dude won't start to be a such thing as a man, a trans, and a woman. It, it right. sounded like they were shocked when they heard his um when he said that nonsense. Oh, you gotta wait. Yeah. Oh, we gotta play the rest of when you yeah. oh, at man. the end. I got a preset at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, break it up. Go ahead. Hey, real quick, give, give me Sirac thirty three. Sirac thirty three. Thirteen through fifteen. Just read it. Read it th straight through. Book of Sirach, chapter 13. He says, Sirach 33. 33. 33. 33. 13. Sirach, chapter 33, and verse 13. Mm -hmm. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as liketh him, liketh him best. Like Officer Eliakim brought out, right? Is there more righteousness with man than with God? God made you how he made you, Bro. right? We can't. We ain't got no say so. He made you a man. He made you a man. He made you a woman. He made you a woman. Read on though. Good is set against evil, uh -huh. and life against death. Read. So is the godly against the sinner. Read. And the sinner against the godly. So we're reading about the duality, right? Mm -hmm. Read on. So look upon all the works of the Most High. All the works. I'm, I'm clipping now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this pissed me off, bro. I'm over here shaking. He said, look upon all the works of the Most High, read. And they are two and two. They are two and two. One against the other. Ain't no in between. Right. It's Hurry. a man and it's a woman. That's it. That's how he made it. That's how everything is. Good against evil, the godly against the sinner, man, woman. That's what it is. But wait a minute. So why? So you can't, you can't do the, I don't know. No, oh, right. we didn't hey, get there. I don't know. He didn't play the rest of the video my for. Fault, my fault. We didn't play the rest of the video. Look, look, I was about to jump the gun too. I was jumping the gun too, man. <laughs> I was jumping the gun. Let's play. Go back to the video. Go back a couple seconds. Can you go back a few seconds? I don't even know if you could do that on them things. It's so shocking. Oh, here we go. Yeah, right here. Here we go. Why? Watch what he do. And I wish that there was an option. Of other Hold on, pause. Wow. Right, 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 right. Hey, right. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gave the who, who, the, who the heck was that? Him lover. Unbelievable. Him lover. <laughs> yo. You, you, like, you in the back of, yo, 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 yo. You can't make that stuff up. That's him lover. All right, come on. <laughs> I, did that, I don't freaking know. There you go, Cap. I, know, there you honestly, go. I wish God would have made it so much simpler and it was like A, B, C, or D, like frick. So now we got a fourth one. Simpler. So it went from three serious. to four. As a pastor, like, so what do you think about game? I don't know. Okay. Oh, Paul, you know. So you can stop. Mm. Yeah, let's go Ecclesiastes 7 in the last some verse. Balls. <laughs> let's go Ecclesiastes 7 in the last verse. Unbelievable. He got baby oil at Diddy's party. Oh, Facts. Facts. Yeah, it is. Plenty Diddy parties. Plenty. He's upset that Diddy parties have been halted while he's locked up. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 29. Mm -hmm. Lo, this only have I found. So let's let's see what the wisest man, King Solomon, let's see what, what he found. Go ahead. That God hath made man upright. So like, like Officer Kaz and Officer Lackham said, God only, he made you how he made you. You have no say so. Go ahead. But they have sought out many inventions. So there's only men and women. God made them upright. But then it says, but men sought out many inventions. I wish there was two, three, or three and four. I wish there was a C and a D now. Wish there was a trans, whatever. I don't know how to feel. God just told you how to feel. It ain't right. no such thing as that. Right. So the fact that they got something to say about it is freaking ridiculous. But this part would piss me off. Go to Isaiah 30. Let's go to Isaiah 30. Let's see what the people like to hear. Y'all jump in. Y'all look, y'all. Look, y'all start this path. Handle your business. Y'all right, start right. this path. This should have been on stop. Isaiah cap. 30 is, it should have been on stop the cap. <laughs> we, <laughs> go to uh verse 11. Verse 11. Verse 10. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 10. This part will get on my nerve. Go ahead. Which say to the seers, see not. So these rebellious people, they say to the prophets that's teaching the Bible properly. Don't point out my sin. Tell me everything is going to freaking be okay. Go ahead. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Mm -hmm. So don't tell us the truth. Go ahead. 
Speak unto us smooth things. Uh huh. Prophesy deceit. That's straight up deceit. That's straight up theatrics. Smooth words. Yep. All the the the. The heck, man! This dude is freaking ridiculous. He, gimmicks, uh, yeah, gimmicks and uh, witchcraft and crap, right? And hey. everybody, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Read yeah, the next yeah, verse. Yeah, 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 we do. Three, 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 verse eleven. <laughs> Get you out the way. Uh huh. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the holy one of Israel to cease from before He's us. He's saying, you know, if I'd have been there, you know, I'd have told God, man, listen, I need Plan C and D. Right. He don't want God to do his thing. He don't want God's judgment. He don't like God's creation. He want right. to do it. Right. And that's but what man is doing right now. Is, Damn. The thing is with these dudes is they're born with their male genitalia. Yeah. And those inventions that they come up with, like we read in Ecclesiastes, is used to please their male genitalia. Like they, they It's all sick, crazy lust that they have, but they claim that they don't. They're confused about their genitalia, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But these wicked, evil things that they're doing is to please themselves sexually. Yeah. Right. What's that in there? It, it, it's madness, man. Hey, dudes are disgusting. Let me give one more. I'll give one more. <laughs> Get Sirach chapter 10 and verse 12. Sirach 10 and 12. Mm. Mm. Bring it out. The book of Sirach chapter 10 and verse 12. Mm. Bring it out. The beginning of pride. Is when one departed from God. This is your pastor we're talking about. He's prideful. He's departed from God. That's the God's, pride movement. Right. Exactly. Yep. Read. And his heart is turned away from his maker. He don't he don't like the way God made him. Right. He don't like the way God made male and female. The structure and the order that God set up in the earth. He doesn't like that thing. His heart is turned away from it. Read. For pride is the beginning of sin. Pride is the beginning of sin. It's stuff like this that got us in the condition we in today. Right. 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 Trying to move away from the things that God established from the beginning. Finish that out. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. That's what he's doing. Mm -hmm. right. All right. to the congregation. He's pouring out that abomination. Read. Mm -hmm. And therefore the Lord brought up. On them strange calamities mm -hmm. and overthrew them utterly. Right. And we still seeing the effects of that today. Right. Hey, one more. Go to Jude, verse 4. Jude verse 4. And this is this is why he this is why he's doing this. He's trying to please himself and then the people that's in the congregation that's in that lifestyle. Because of course, they all know the judgment of being in, in sodomy. Right in there, and they also know if you accept that or you okay with that, you get the same judgment as the ones that's doing the act. So right. therefore, now the pastor does this right here. Read this, the book of Jude, verse four. For there oh, are yeah. certain men crept in unawares uh -huh. who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. So, we, it, hey, some of these pastors might be condemned of old. We not saying, look, he could very well repent. Our brother can repent, but we right. won't know until the end time. But if he don't repent, then we will all find out who this was right here. Right. Hang on, hold my go mind. ahead. Ungodly men. <laughs> Ungodly men. Go ahead. Turning the grace of our God into mm. lascivious. Now they sitting up here That's talking right. about C and D, trans and all of that stuff to accept <laughs> these crazy lifestyles. They literally turning the gospel of Christ into evil sexual desires, and they preaching about this stuff, saying this crap is okay. Go ahead. And denying the only Lord God uh -huh. and our Lord Jesus Christ. So instead of them teaching what Christ taught, they're denying and going against what Christ taught. Don't make no sense, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That was ill. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that precept ill. Hey, y'all killed it. All praise <laughs> to the most high. <laughs> Hey, I like I, I like not my pastor. Right, right, right. right. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, they, need, they, need, they, need, they, need, they need to get it. Right. All, right. All praise to the most high. Come on, man, with my mic, man. What's happening? All praise to the most high. Hey. So what? That's the that's that that's the uh That's the new. That's the that, that's the new that's the new topic. That's the well new segment. That's the new segment. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're gonna run it. All right, that's our time. Let's head right on over to you know. Uh -oh. You know what time uh -oh. it is. Uh -oh. Let's head right on over to stop the uh -oh. cat. We got an intro yeah. now. Uh oh we got an intro now. <laughs> <laughs> oh praise the Dr. Cap, Dr. Cap.
So, for today, stop the cap. What we've realized today so far is police be capping, right. politicians be capping, <laughs> right. preachers be capping, but we're going to get on the black woman for capping too. Damn! Damn. So, Damn. And, and what, what we're going to see is it all runs together. They all work together. So That's right. What we want to do, pull up that clip with Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Because we, we kind of feeding off of what we brought out last week. Uh, dealing with how a lot of our women do get caught up in this liberal agenda. But let's see who's a, a main influencer of the liberal agenda that get our women caught up in all the lies that they believe. Mm. So you got the clip for Kamala Harris. It's number one on the docket. It's number one in the listing. On the heat. I mean, on the. Uh, Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Went back and we edited it in. It's number one. Number one. Matter of fact, while we're waiting, let's get Isaiah 32 and verse 5. Because we were bringing out last week, the liberal agenda is what gets a lot of our people caught up into lies and living based on vanity. So let's get that real quick. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 5. Let me get there with you. Go ahead. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. So. In today's society, the liberal agenda is typically pushed by Democrats. Democrats always focus their attention towards uh, the minorities, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. But then they also are pushing it mainly in the mainstream media to our women. Read on. Nor the churl said to be bountiful. Go ahead. Verse 6. For the vile person. So this liberal agenda is going to do what? Will speak villainy. It will speak evil. Read on. And its heart will work iniquity. So their minds are always focused on wickedness. Read on. To practice hypocrisy. To practice what? Hypocrisy. And we're going to see hypocrisy from our very own, well, America's own vice president. Finish that off. And to utter error against the Lord. To utter error against the Lord. Read. To make empty the soul of the hungry. Uh-huh. And he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. So our people are thirsty and they're hungry for the word of God, but... These type of people influence them and cause them to depart from the word of the Lord. But how do they do it? Let's roll the clip. Are we ready? Go further down. Go further down. That's where the clip is. Let's put that on the screen. I intend on extending a tax cut, repealing that tax bill that they just passed. And also looking at estate taxes are going to have to go up. Everything from a 70 to 80 percent tax rate. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. I made that very clear in 2020. I will not ban fracking. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. She was big on defund the police. For too long, the status quo thinking has been you get more safety by putting more cops on the street. Well, that's wrong. She was the border czar. She doesn't want to be called the border czar because she's embarrassed by the border. I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. That's correct. Abolish ICE. Yeah, we need to probably think about starting from scratch. She is Biden. The worst inflation we've ever had. A horrible economy because inflation has made it so bad. Bidenomics is working. It's working. And then this business about taking everyone's guns away. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. We have to have a buyback program, and I support a mandatory buyback program. My agenda includes attempting to get Congress to act, but if they don't within the first 100 days of my administration, I'm going to take executive action. Stop well, all, the I music. Am. Stop wow. the music. This woman is not black let's just go ahead and put right, that I'm out there say that. Yeah, but she is a point. great influencer of a lot of black women in modern day society right. they, they they've even been uh, uh lied to so much that they really believe and stand by her so much to say that she's black so uh matter of fact y'all remember when she came into office here all the black women stood beside her with right. the chucks and uh mm -hmm. chucks and pearls because she's a part of a, a black greek organization and, aka and they raised like a million something dollars yes. something like that for yeah, like yeah they did so yeah, they. in that influence or that that seat of influence she has a lot of power over black women so let's get clip number two let's see how the black woman has continued to push her message amongst the people she got all that influence over black women and most black women don't even know what the hell she was talking about <laughs> right <laughs> not they a damn thing no clue not, but not we we know she lying though right we caught her <laughs> in her lie <laughs> Trump we pointed her. that thing out right so let's get uh, the next clip. Clip number two. Clip number two.
Let's put that on the screen. Let the people see it. Let's get that. Go ahead. Play. I think that a lot of men think that they're more of a prize than what they really are. Mm. This is the thing. Heavy on that. Men really think that women what? are jealous mm. of the woman that they choose to be like their quote unquote right. main. And what they don't realize <laughs> is that like... a lot of single women are so much happier single <laughs> right. because they don't have to, to deal, deal with, with the best. Right there. We got to stop it right there. That's Cap. Cap. <laughs> Cap. Ah, happy. Cap. She is happy Cap. with a metal Cap. top. Listen to what God says. <laughs> let's, let's get what God says. With a metal top. With a metal top. All right? So let's get that. Isaiah. We're still in Isaiah 32. Let's get verse 2. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 2. Go ahead. And a man shall be as in hiding place uh -huh. from the wind, uh -huh. as a covert from the tempest. Go ahead. As rivers of water in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So God says that the man will be a covert from the tempest. I want y'all to pull up the next clip. This hold, is hold, on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Rewind what she said real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's rewind it real quick. Let's get that. And get second address 16. Ooh, let's bring it out. <laughs> Go ahead. Rewind all the way to the beginning. Go ahead and play it real quick. But she lied. Hold on, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Right. She lied from the first statement that she said. Right. Go ahead and play it now. I think that a lot of men think that they're more of a prize than what they really are. This is the thing. Heavy on that. Men really think that women are jealous of the woman that they choose to be like their quote unquote right. main. And what right, stop right there. She said men really think that women are jealous of the one that they choose as the main one, right? Mm -hmm. Stop the Get cap. The, stop lying. You are cap. jealous. If, if you're number two, if you're the side chick, you're, you're jealous. jealous. Right. You got a problem. <laughs> you got a problem. Get that in um, second edge 16 verse 49. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 49. Go ahead. Like as a whore, envy if a right and honest, virtuous woman. The married woman, she's not the whore. Right. The whore is the one that is committing adultery with the married woman's husband. Right. She envied the righteous and virtuous woman there. Read that again. That's what the Bible says. So she's a liar. Read it again. Like as a whore, envy if a right, honest, and virtuous woman. Read on. So shall righteousness hate iniquity and that's why we have these segments that's why we continue to go out on the streets we continue to teach against the lies and hypocrisies that are in our people's minds right well, i like how right. you read that hey, read that like that again. <laughs> hey, 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 hey read that again read that part read that top part again verse 49 like as a whore yeah <laughs> hey, read that again like as a whore yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah all praise i am out be gone. Good. Well, good. <laughs> so, this sister said, the black man ain't no pride. We're happier without him. Let's oh. roll the next beautiful bean footage that we have. Damn. You got that? Did y'all? Beautiful bean this footage. This is beautiful Damn. bean footage. <laughs> the next clip with the sister with seven children. Mm -hmm. mm. Seven, seven children. But what is missing? Let's see if she's. Mm. Because we're gonna put the pieces together. What what was her mindset to have these seven children? <laughs> you know, what is she missing? Can we pull that up, please? Should be number number three. It's with the red hat. Yep. Yes, yeah, the one with the red hat, right underneath the brother. Yep, number three. Number three. Tackling Hurricane Milton with seven children. And no support. Y'all see that? Nope, not that one. Not that one yet. Not that one yet. Because she oh, said we're it. happier. <laughs> Is it in? It's at the. It's at the top. Number three. Hey, y'all gotta drop the ones that they're not using the that they've already used, and then and pull up the. Uh... Yeah, you gotta scroll up past one. Yeah, and it's above. It's one. above one, right? So you go to one and then go up past the comments, and then three is right there with the lady with the braids and the red shirt. You share it on the screen. We can see it to help you out. Stop the cows! Right there, there, there it is. Thank you, thank you. So the sister said, "We are happier without any men." Okay, let's see. What, let's, let's back see. it up. Uh, refresh it. Back it up. Here you go. Uh, up. I'm in Miami, Florida. 
happy, y'all. Our power just went off. Y'all, when I tell y'all this thing was pitch black over here, I don't know. I don't know. Usually, oh my God. <laughs> I've never been through nothing like this by myself ever. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. What's she crying for? What's she crying for? I, I thought my sister said that they're happier without men. Mm, right. Yeah, God that. says that man was meant to be a covert in the storm. She <laughs> did say that. And then the woman that was next to her said heavy on that. Right. Heavy, heavy said, on that. She he heavy. said heavy on that. <laughs> what it looks like is heavy on her is a burden. Trouble, <laughs> confusion. Bring Don't out. know what to do. Bring now let's get the out. next clip. We we gonna show how much sisters be capping. That's why we don't listen to them. They, they don't know what they talking hey, about. Shout out to Captain Get Alive. Right. Don't listen, listen to, to black women at man. all. Ever. Right, right, right. right. So put that that same clip with the right. red hat on. Now now we gonna fit it in there. Now we gonna fit the red. Yeah. So let's read the cap. Put it up on the screen. We are gonna read the caption. Then we gonna play. So it says, uh, reader, thank you. It says, <laughs> when I tell my husband I don't need his help. Oh, so she actually got a man. Because I am a strong, independent woman. Okay, so th that same strong, independent woman mindset is there. Go ahead. And don't need no man, uh -huh. but it's heavy AF. It's heavy. So certain things get too heavy. Let's see her reaction. Let's see how they put this out. Come back. And I know everybody know where that came from. That came from Titanic. When her man died, she was like, I need to be saved. I'm in this cold water. This is a burden on me. Understand that. So these sisters be capping. They be saying they don't need men. Y'all got anything on that? Yeah, Stop the cap. Bring it out. Give me Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 17. Let's go. Because we got a job to do as men. Sisters might feel attacked. We don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. The Bible say what it say, and we have to prophesy against the daughters of Zion. Bring it out. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 13 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people. We got to cut y'all. We got to tell y'all to stop right. the cap. Right. We got to set our faces against the daughters of our people. Why? Hurt. Because y'all haughty, y'all rebellious, y'all be lying. Read. Which prophesy out of their own hearts. They prophesy out their own hearts. That's why that sister say... I think All right. Right. I feel Damn. like All right. men, men think they more of a prize than they really are. <laughs> no we ho, happier ho. without me. No ho, you think. Right, right. <laughs> right. Straight up. No, you no, you think that we think. We don't do that. Right. You do that. Right. You are that. I'm sorry, go ahead. Read on. I don't talk you lying. <laughs> <laughs> Read on. And prophesy thou against them. And we got to prophesy against y'all. Y'all prophesy out y'all own heart. We prophesy out of the Bible. All right? So, let's see what their prophesying out of their own heart does for them. Let's roll the next clip. I know we got two minutes. Let's see as, as much as we can get. Because this is what comes out of that vain mindset of our women in these last days. Go ahead. Bring that up. That we don't take into consideration of the baby boy effect. Especially when we're dealing with um, mothers who have sons and were grooming their sons and raising their sons independently in the home before another male party was introduced. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we don't talk about how women date their sons. Mm -hmm. and, and single mothers oftentimes do everything but fuck their sons. Ah, stop right And they yeah. have that emotional Hey, she coming with it cold. Right. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, hey, no time. Sometimes like like Officer Kai said earlier, we gotta let the woman talk to the woman. Right. That's why when sisters be avoiding they lead sisters and, and and helping them overcome certain issues that they mm -hmm. coming from out of the world. You 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 you're only shooting yourself in the foot. You want right. to be deceived. You want to stay lied to in your own mind. Yep. Um, matter of fact, shameless plug. Saving Sarah's daughters. There right. it is. Right. Five. Hey, hey, that's, that's a good plug. Good, right. good plug. Yeah. Right. So in that same vein. These women don't even realize that they are creating the same type of men as their children that they don't want to date. 
or that they right. don't want to marry. Right. So they think they're doing themselves a favor. Uh, you got anything you want to bring out? Nah, man. I mean, they just they creating the same gang bangers, drug dealers, emotional men that don't know how to handle situations. They they don't even know how to be a man to a woman. Right. 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 And that's what's creating the issues in our community. Get that. Um, Second Edges five and eight. Second Edges five verse eight. Mm. Because when when she treats her her son like her husband, how is she now? How is she portraying the daddy to that son? Right, right, right. The book of Second Ezra, chapter five and verse eight. Good. There shall be a confusion also in many places. That son is confused now, growing up as a small child and having his mother deal with him like she's her, she's his wife, right? Hugging him, caressing him, and and dealing with him in that type of way. But he didn't see her dealing with a father that way, right? Dealing with his father that way. Go ahead. And the fire shall be off sent out again. Go ahead. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Read on. And menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. One of those monsters was that pastor that we saw in the other segment. Right. Those monsters be those, those gangbangers on the corners. Those monsters be those effeminate, emotional men that'll shoot the entire house up if you talk about their mama. Right. They don't know how to handle their emotions, so... These women, they, they, they stop the cap. Stop the cap, man. Go ahead. Right. Stop the so, cap. We're going to let that one ride. Get uh, Micah chapter 7, verse 9. And we're going to read 9 and 10. Because we do have to prophesy against the daughters of Israel. We hope that you repent. We hope that you understand why the Bible is being taught to you so that we can set our nation back in order. Go ahead, read that. You said verse 9? Yes, sir. The book of Micah, chapter 7 and verse 9. Go ahead. I will bear the indignation of the Lord. So as a nation, we bear, uh, we're we bearing the uh, indignation of the Lord. We've been under the curses. But as men, we're standing up to teach our people how to fix themselves. Read on. Because I have sinned against So him. there's some accountability in that. And that's what a lot of our black women lack when they're lying. They want to not have or deal with accountability. Read on. Until he plead my cause. So when we get back right with God, he's going to plead our cause. Read. And Hurt. execute judgment for me. And execute judgment for us. We got to get back in order as a nation. Read on. He will bring me forth to the light. Uh huh. And I shall behold his righteousness. Verse 10. Then she that is mine enemy mm. shall see it. So sometimes when the man is getting himself, a lot of times when the man is getting himself together, his biggest enemy is his counterpart, the right. black woman. Right. Mm -hmm. So in these last days, our enemy has become our own women. And right. the main thing that they got to overcome is lying to themselves first mm -hmm. and to us, <laughs> us as a byproduct. But read on. Right. And shame shall cover And her. that's what we're seeing with the son husbands. The, the being left all by yourself. The guy, last sister on the clip in, in the middle of Milton had seven children. Right. Mm -hmm. that she, huh? So you don't get seven children without a man being between your legs. Right. She, he was there. She he was, was present. Piece. She was a side piece. Damn. Damn. Side right. piece. Number right. two. Oh, no. Shit. Or got three. Left with a or four. Right. Or four. Or five or six. Yeah. Or maybe A, B, C, or D. <laughs> right. She was a side piece with a couple biscuits left over. Right. But. She was a Christian, though. <laughs> right. Finish that off. Finish that off. And shame shall cover her. Shame with, shall cover her. Read on. Which said unto me. Uh-huh. Where is the Lord thy God? Uh-huh. Mine eye shall behold her. Go ahead. Now shall she be trodden down as a mire of the streets. So now that's why we see our women. At the bottom of society. And they're going to say, well, we feel like the least protected women. Well, you're not protected because you don't have a hedge of a father. You don't have a hedge of a husband. You're doing whatever you want to do, and then you're lying about it. They happy. Then, then they said they happy. Ah, right. They, that is what they said. That's a part of them being in the mire, that dirt. <laughs> Go ahead. What then how got? can the man protect? What's the, um, the saying that um, leadership has? If you stand behind me, you'll get protection. Stand mm -hmm. beside me. Respect, respect you. Respect, respect you. It. But if you stand in front of me, we're going to run your we're ass gonna, over. We're going to run <laughs> you over. That's what it is. So you want to be equal with a man or above the man, you're not going to get that protection at all. Hell no. So these sisters, y'all better stop capping. Right. You better stop listening stop to these the politicians cap. who got you capping. You better stop following up these pastors who actually feed your capping. You better cut it out. Anybody else got anything? We got one more minute. Yeah, I mean, get out of here. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was, now you got it. I was going to say that a lot of these sisters don't realize that that frame of thought stems from slavery. Oh, right. With the Willie Lynch. Right. If y'all read the Willie Lynch letter, the sisters were attacked just as hard as the men were. Pull that up. Pull that up. That's what we want. Just the second page. The yeah. second page. So we can get straight to the point.
Get straight to the point on it. Being independent. There yeah, there we go. Just read the underlying part. Right. It said, oh, my fault. Go it ahead. said, let's make a slave. Frozen in. You said the underlying part? Yeah. Or the whole thing? Read yeah, the, read the whole thing. Read yeah. it quick. By her being left alone, unprotected, with the male image destroyed, the ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. In this frozen psychological state of independence, she will raise her male and female offspring in reversed roles. Mm. For fear of the young man's life, her, she will psychologically train him to be mentally weak and dependent, but physically strong. Read. Because she has become that's psychologically... The son that's the son right. husband. Yep. Yep. Because she has become psychologically independent, she will train her female offsprings to be psychologically independent. What have you got? A messed up community. Exactly. <laughs> and then her daughter is going to be just like her. And her and just son like going to be gay. Right. <laughs> right. That's all I got. Carrying around knives and eating papaya at camp. Hey. <laughs> oh. Dude, was specific. Hey, that's a shot from yesterday. Specific. Dude, that mess is crazy. That mess happened yesterday. Oh, man. I'll praise to the most. Right. Good segment. Hey, stop the cap. Oh, that was a good segment right there. Hey, let's roll right into it. Yep, yep, yep. Y'all already know what time it is. Let's pull up that first article. Uh, U.S. is sending an uh, anti-missile system to Israel. Turn the background music down a little bit. And, uh, anti-missile system to Israel and move to bolster its defense against Iran. So if you uh, don't know what time it is and you are not staying on top of what's taking place between Israel, Iran, and how America is going to get dragged in to help Israel out, then you are a damn fool. That's what you are, all right? Because the war is brewing. We are at war, whether you want to believe it or not. Hey. Let's pull up the first article, please. First, first, go to the uh, heat check segment and grab that first clip. Let's pull that up. There we go. Let's read that. Let's share that. Let's read some of this article right here. The Wall Street Journal. U.S. is sending anti-missile systems to Israel to bolster defenses against Iran. Scroll it on up. Make that bigger. Yes, sir. Washington. The Biden administration is sending an advanced anti-missile system to Israel along with American troops to operate it. Moving to bolster its top Middle East allies' defenses against Iranian attack, the Pentagon said, on, said Sunday. The deployment of the THAAD system, a ground-based interceptor designed to shoot down ballistic missiles, marks a significant step in American efforts to directly protect Israel against enemy attacks by putting U.S. soldiers on the ground. So, stop right there for a second. We already know that we've already went on, what's that, uh, in Ezekiel? How uh, they're gonna they're gonna be drugged in. They're gonna be brought in to this battle. All right. All of this, all of these things are already taking place. Last week we didn't go over those specific uh, things because we was at uh, Tabernacle. tabernacles. Tabernacles. Mm -hmm. But there has already been meetings with uh, Iran, uh, Lebanon, uh, the Prince Russia. of Ku Russia, the Prince of Kuwait. These meetings are taking place. As we speak. Now, we get our fake news on this side. So, Americans don't know, don't really know what's going on. But here hey. we have America sending an anti-ballistic uh, missile system there to help Israel in their defense. But yet, it, we're going to say, America's going to say, we're not at war. Well, as we go down to get, knock out some more of these uh, clips, you're going to see, you're going to hear Donald Trump actually speak on a couple of things. Let's read the rest of that right there. The move comes as U.S. and Israeli officials have been holding talks on a planned Israeli strike on Iran. Mm -hmm. U.S. officials have urged Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government not to target Iran's oil facilities and nuclear sites. You know why? Because Iran has very sophisticated missiles that they have not shot yet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They have very sophisticated missiles that they have not used yet. They've used a lot. Of that we're, They're using some of their older technology missiles right now. Which is already breaching the Iron Dome. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see some clips of that 
here shortly too. Though some of their older uh, missiles are already landing in Israel as we speak. Read on. President Biden's decision to approve the deployment came after extensive discussions among U.S. officials with Israel over the country's expected military response to Iran and how Tehran might retaliate. Mm -hmm. The decision to send anti-missile systems wasn't specifically conditioned on Israel avoiding certain more prov provocative targets, but it was part of a broader discussion on how to handle the situation, according to senior U.S. official. The move to send U.S. forces to Israel is a visible demonstration of the Biden administration's support for Israel a month before the presidential election. So, with that being said, is America involved with the war between Israel and Iran? Mm -hmm. is, 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 is that even a question anymore? <laughs> right. That's not a question. You're an ally. You have to help. Yep. Right. You, help you help set this up as a state. You help approve this. There's no such thing as... Uh, we're 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 not getting involved. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? No, you are in, you are de in, in, indefinitely involved. Read on. A rare U.S. deployment to Israel, like Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris has emphasized her support for protecting Israel. Now oh. there was a few clips about. I know uh, Biden said in the past when he was asked about the uh, issues facing uh, the the those nations over there and. Israel and he said don't and then she was recently asked the same this was wrong with Mike she was recently asked the same question and she repeated what her uh president said which was don't don't in other words don't f with Israel mm -hmm. why would they why, why why would that be the terminology because Israel and America is joined hand in hand. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? They are, they are hand in hand in this thing. Now, we, of course, you don't see U.S. military troops over there right at this moment. But Israel is catching hell. Drop right. that. Go to, uh, I want you to go stroll up to, to the clip. It has three different videos in it. It says, nonstop Hezbollah bombardment on northern Israel since the morning. Stroll up. We can't see what you're doing. Yeah, stroll up. Yeah, stroll on up. Up, 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 up. Right there. Play the one right there with all the with, with the with the with the obvious fire. Right there, the top one. Yep. And remember you gotta keep something in the screen, in this empty screen over here. Go ahead and download the rest of them and get them ready, too. But play that. This is real short. It's only like 17 seconds. This is Hezbollah bombardment on northern Israel. So that's in northern Israel. Is so something done landed and hit. Yes. So the dome didn't stop it down. It says uh, they've had many direct impacts as the Iron Dome is being exhausted. It's being exhausted. Uh, let's play the next one. Mm. So if you are not aware of what's going on, one, you stupid. <laughs> you got you gotta be you gotta right. be crazy as hell not to know that these that this is what's taking place on the earth. And you gotta be crazy as hell not to be not to see Matthew 24 playing out in your face. That's right. gonna be the staple of, of, of this show. Read Matthew 24 and 6 real quick while he while they pulled that up. That's why they say strike while the iron's hot. Hey, you got eight. Exactly. While that iron dome getting exhausted, this is the time to aim at it. Right. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. See that ye be not troubled. We're, we're not supposed to be troubled as we see these things taking place because what? Read. For all these things must come to pass. They must come to pass and what? But the end is not yet. The end is not yet. Play this next clip. It was up there. And then that'll explain why the U.S. is sending anti-missile systems over to Israel. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, right. Because no. they, they need the assistance right now. Right. They need that assistance. Yeah. 
these are direct hits. These are these are landing directly in Israel. Mm -hmm. Hey. All right, so you're gonna go to the next clip. It's called. The, it's from the Middle East uh, Spectator. It says direct impact from an iron from an Iraq drone at an IDF base in Negev. This is in Israel. To show you that this is not just uh, talks of these nations bombing and, and, and going at each other's neck. This is this, we we in action right yeah. now. Right. We in action yeah. right now. And y'all can jump in at any time. I know this is this is one of Eliakim's uh <laughs> you know forte, you know what I mean? Uh stroll up. It's from it's right, it's that that one right there. Yes, that one right there. It's the second one. Don't just be crazy like how you saying how our, our people are crazy that they don't even know this stuff is going on because they occupied in football. Right, Diddy. Diddy mm -hmm. them. All that stuff going on. All these rappers got Gorilla and, and Kirk Franklin making music together. And they don't <gasps> understand, like you said, that they can't even see Matthew 24 unfolding right in their face. Exactly. Y'all got that? All right, share that real quick. Pull that up. <laughs> This is a direct impact from an Iraq drone at the IDF base in the Gi. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I don't know what they. We don't know what they said. All we know is death and destruction as prophesied by the Bible. Maybe that drum was about to blow up on it. Yeah, exactly. Go to uh, go to the next one. Um, let me see what this next one. This next one is not 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 the ones about the sirens. I want the one right up under that Israeli casualties being evacuated after rockets struck uh Eliakim Eliakim. base. <laughs> South <laughs> yes, that one right there. Hold up, I got a verse for that. Repent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, let's play that real quick. Let's see what's going on here? Go ahead. That, that was it. That was all of that. Okay. So yeah, it's only seven seconds. So this is these are casualties. So there, it's bodies dropping in Israel right now. Why Netanyahu ain't speaking on that? Mm. They're doing all their little uh, treaty talks and, and, and trying to get their life together on how uh, on how they're going to take the certain parts of the land and further their agenda. But they losing they losing they losing uh, soldiers right now. Right. right. Go to the next clip. Mm hmm. The next one direct impact from a Hezbollah missile on an Israeli uh, settlers bus. That on fire. It's on fire. Yep. So where's the Iron Dome? Mm. Right. What's the Iron <laughs> Dome? What's the Iron Dome actually doing? It ain't doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? And you be amazed. The Lord, the the Lord, then disassembled all of the connections. The angels then right. dis uh, <laughs> disassembled all of the connections that make the Iron Dome work. Hey. But what they're not telling us is that they're in full fledged war right now, which is prophesied in the Bible. So uh, the next one is Donald Trump. He got he got some uh, we got some information on him uh, talking about his assassination attempts and how they might be connected, but. Uh, hold that. Let's go to let's go to Joel chapter two and verse three. Oh, in chapter three and verse two. Let's go. The book of Joel chapter three and verse two. I will also gather all nations. And bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So I see, cause you say you posted a. Uh, 
a high quality image. Yeah, I want the map. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at that in a minute. Read that again. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. This is this is the 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 meetings that 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 are taking place right now. They think they're gathering on their own, but the Lord is mustering. He's mustering and tying all of this stuff together for the salvation of Israel. Read. And will plead with them there for my people uh -huh. and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. What we got to realize is that everything that's taking place, all of this war that we see taking place on the earth is for the salvation of Israel. It's for our sake. So when we look at the uh, uh, the the good information that was brought out during the uh, not my pastor segment, and the information brought out between the on, on the uh, stop the cap uh, segment, all of these things, yeah, it's all we look at it and, and we're able to bring out the the information from a different angle for the problems that we have as a people. But the bigger problem is. There's war taking place on earth. Meanwhile, we're caught up in all of this other foolishness right. that's going on on the earth. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got to fix our minds because the salvation, salvation is, well, salvation is, my mic is being jacked up over there by the IT. I'm being sabotaged. Salvation is for us and we still are caught up in the dumb-ish that's taking place. Right, right. You understand? Y'all got anything? Y'all yeah, can but, jump in here now. Go uh, ahead. I got something. Yeah, yeah. Go to go to Ezekiel thirty-five. Ezekiel thirty-five and start at six. Well, start at one first. Start at one first. I'm gonna let you have that. The book of Ezekiel. Oh, you was going there. Nah, but you got My it. bad, it's the man. I, I'll go it's back. It's the spirit. No, bring it out. <laughs> it's the spirit. Bring it out. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, I'm skip it. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Read yeah, verse one. Good. Verse one. Ezekiel chapter thirty-five and verse one. Uh huh. Moreover. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir uh -huh. and prophesy against and it. That, and that's what this whole segment is all about, right. is to prophesy against Mount Seir. Mount Seir, that, that's these Edomites that's claiming to be us. they claiming to be us over there. Now, now they Iron Dome. Now you got America sending them right. a second layer to, to shoot down the bombs that's making it through the Iron Dome. Go ahead. And say unto it. Thus saith the Lord God, uh -huh. Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. Like you said, God and the angels, they just dissembling the, exactly. <laughs> disassembling the dome on them. Go ahead. And I will stretch out mine hand against thee, uh -huh. and I will make thee most desolate. Go ahead. I will lay thy cities waste. And one of those cities, and all these cities that they got, that they don't took, they took it from us. Mm -hmm. right. But God right. is going to lay that thing desolate. Right. Just like he's doing. Now, all of a sudden, they're hiding up under the hiding up under bricks, wondering right. where we're going on. <laughs> Running all over the goddamn place. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go ahead. And thou shalt be desolate, uh, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Go ahead. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. And that's exactly what they did. And this is why they get in the judgment is because they went, they've been hating us perpetually. Like, uh, like Officer Collins brought out earlier. It's just in them to be like that against us. So God said, because of that, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to make you desolate. Go ahead. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Go jump to eight, jump to eight, jump to eight. Verse eight. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. That's why you said some of they men dropping over there. Now, Cap. Now they dropping, so they hills and stuff going to be filled with killed men. Go ahead. And in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Read on. I will make thee, perpe I will make thee perpetual desolations, uh -huh. and thy city shall not return. Go ahead. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. That's what the Lord is doing right mm -hmm. there. Right. That's what I only skipped. I skipped around my bag. Yeah, it's all good. Hey, it's the spirit, man. It's the spirit. God, we're we going to stay right there. Start back at verse 5. Let's read. Verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel. All, by the all of this stuff is taking place for the children of Israel. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. And we still worrying about the block. We don't want the block like Bishop right. said. We want the entire world. That's right. And the only way to get the world is through this salvation, through this, right. through this damn nuclear war that's going to take place on the earth. Yeah. That's what has to happen. Read. I shed the blood of the children of Israel because they have killed us all over the earth. Come on. By the force of the sword uh -huh. in the time of their calamity. 
in the time that their iniquity had an end. Because our iniquity did have an end. But what did Esau do? He furthered the he furthered our condition. He made it worse. Come on. Right. Therefore, as I live, say if the Lord That's God. That's how you know the Lord is a black man. Right. You know how black people like to squat. I squat. I squat. Hey, what the Lord say? Therefore, on my life, on my life, black, on oh, my mama. <laughs> Read it again. <laughs> therefore, as I live, he said. Therefore, as I live, come on, saith the Lord God, uh -huh. I will prepare thee unto blood. Said, I'm gonna prepare you mm. unto blood. Come on, and blood shall pursue thee. And blood is gonna pursue you. So if thou hast not hated blood, because they don't hate blood, they love bloodshed. That's what we watched. Uh, from the beginning of the show, and that's what we were going to continue to watch until our people repent of these other nations putting us to death, these other nations, tase, other nations tasing us, accusing us, lying on us. That's what we're seeing. Come on. Even blood shall pursue thee. Blood is going to pursue you, Reed. Thus will I make Mount Sierra most desolate. Mount Sierra is going to be most desolate. Mm. Edom wow. is going to be Hurt. most desolate. Come right. on. Hurt. And cut off from it. Him that passeth out. And he go cut off him that passeth out. Come on. And him that returneth. And him that returneth. This is the destruction of America. It's going down. Right. Come on. And I will fill his mountains with slain men. Uh -huh. In thy hills in thy and in thy valleys. And in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. They're going to be all slain by the sword. Let me get that in Obadiah real quick. Go to Obadiah and pull this map up real quick. Put this map up that Bishop used yesterday so that we can see what's really going on. Now, they got our land. They're over there living their life. They think they're living the best life. Their objective is to take all of the land. Hey, blow that up because I'm blind as hell. I can't even see it. You need to blow it. I need you to blow it up on this one so I can actually see what's going on. Is that I want no, that ain't the map I wanted. I wanted I wanted the map of the map of Israel. I posted the wrong thing. I wanted a I Where want they, a map I got you. of Israel with all of the surrounding uh countries, countries around it. Can I get a script while yes, we're go, go ahead. Go back to second Ezra fifteen. Make sure it's yeah, fifteen and verse eighteen. Because uh what was just brought out was that Mount Sierra is gonna be made most desolate. Let's get another prophet's uh viewpoint on that. All right. The book of second Ezra, chapter fifteen and verse eighteen. Go ahead. For because of their pride. Because of their pride. Mm -hmm. Read on. The cities shall be troubled. So now those cities over there in the, in the so-called Middle East are being troubled. Read on. The houses shall be destroyed. A lot of people's property is being destroyed. Read on. And men shall be afraid. So now their pride is being turned into fear. Because war is imminent. Jump down to verse 20. Verse 20. Behold, saith God. So God said, as I live, watch what I say. Read on. I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me. So that's what the Valley of Jehoshaphat is all about. A decision going to be made. And they're going to reverence the Lord by what they're going to be made and forced to do in that day. Read on. Which are from the rising of the sun. Uh-huh. From the south. From the east. And Libanus. That's Lebanon. We see war going on in Lebanon right now. Uh -huh. Read on. To turn themselves one against the other. When you turn yourself one against another, what does that mean? There's war taking place. Read on. And repay the things that they have done to them. So, done to who? There's going to be a, re a recompense to, for the things that have been done to who? Read on. Like as they do yet this day. Yet this day they do what? Unto my chosen. Unto the chosen. Who are the chosen? The children of God. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All this war that's taking place is for God to recompense all the evil that they have done to us and are still doing to us till this day. Read on. So will I do also. Uh -huh. And recompense them in their bosom. Read on. Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God. So that's why we are here teaching our people to repent. Come hey. back to keeping God's laws because what's taking place in the earth right now is for our salvation. And God is recompensing all of them that have done evil to us. That's all I got. Uh, first, can y'all put that inside of this big black box that says the final trumpet that we keep telling y'all not to leave empty? Thank you. Now, blow that up. Or do you got an X out of it to blow it up? That's the question. Either way, can you use... If we see Israel... All right, all right. Make it smaller. We just want to see Israel. Make it a little bit smaller. 
a little bit smaller right here. Read that in Obadiah. Be a little bit smaller. We see Israel right there. A little bit smaller. That's cool. Just leave it right there because we got we got to make this plain. Come on, read that. You want verse one? Yes, you can read it. You can start at verse one. Obadiah, verse one. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord. We've heard a rumor of the Lord. The bottom right of the screen is wrong. We've heard a rumor of the Lord. Come on. And an ambassador is sent among the heathen. An ambassador sent among the heathen. Come on. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in um, battle. We're going to rise up against her in battle. Come on. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. The scripture says that they are made small among the heathen. Now, let's take a look at look this. At so right now, they started out bombing the Gaza Strip, which uh, you, can, you can barely see on here. But now they turned their efforts, now that they've destroyed uh, 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 that little strip of land, they've turned their efforts towards Lebanon. Let's blow this up a little bit. They've turned their efforts towards Lebanon. Lebanon is right there over the top of Israel right there. Now, all of these are uh, Islamic countries. Right. These are all Islamic countries. Read that part again. Behold, I have made these small among the heathen. Amalek is a very small group of people among the heathen. Bro. When we look at this map, let's make it small so we can see the top part of Turkey. You got Turkey on the other side. You got Turkey up there. You got Syria. You got Iran. You see how far Iran right. is from Israel? Right. And they are making... <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> Iran has sophisticated technology, man. They got hypersonic missiles that will that move at an excessive amount of speed, man. I posted pictures yeah, of the missiles. The missiles. Yeah. There's one on there that show you how far they travel. Hey, let's let's pull that up real quick. Let's let, let's let's get that. How about this? Hold on. Let's get that ready. Yeah, Can we do ready. that? Can we get that ready as we look at all of these Islamic countries that surround Israel? You got Turkey. You got Syria, Iran, Iraq. You got Saudi Arabia on this. Like, Israel is very small amongst the heathen. Come on. Thou art greatly despised. And you're just, nobody likes you. <laughs> no, Nobody likes you. This is the same white man that, that first they gave the land to the people. Then they come back in 1948 to try to boot the people out the damn land. No, nobody likes this man. This man is the most hated on the earth. And the Lord is going to use all of the heathens around him to destroy his ass. All right? Hey, yeah, pull up them missiles right there. What you got, uh, Officer Lackham? I know you. I see you brewing over there. Bring it yes, out. Yes, sir, because go back to the – I, I want to cut no, it no, off. No. Right? Yeah, we'll, go back to the map with the, uh, the small. Read verse 2 again, Obadiah. Verse 2. Behold. I have made thee small among the heathen. But I wanted to go further into that too because just to back cap up, and you got the United Air the entire top of Africa is right. colonized by Ishmael. Right, right, right. So and it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be African people there. Right. But even going over there further to the left, you got Libya, Libya and all the whole top of Africa. But the tiny little Israel <laughs> full of white people that say they are the Jews, but do lie. Get uh Jeremiah chapter forty nine, verse twenty. Because small among the heathen the Thou art greatly despised. This Bible, the prophecies cannot be broken, man. I'm telling you. Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord uh -huh. that he hath taken against Edom. Sounds similar to the beginning of the book of Obadiah or the book of Malachi, right? Read. Right. And his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Taman. Uh, which is an Edomite colony, which the number one Edomite empire right now is America. That's the strongest one. That's what it's talking about. Read. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. The least of the flock. So as we see on the map there, the least of the flock. You got the tiny little Israel surrounded by all the other nations, specifically Ishmael, mm -hmm. who is greatly dis uh, despising them. Right? Read. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. Uh -huh. At the cry of the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. So that's that hell from beneath is moved to meet their, their coming. All the kings of the earth in uh, Isaiah 14. The, all the kings of the earth make the great noise and cry about Babylon the great fallen. Right? Just to give you a clue. 22. And I'm going to pass it back. Verse 22. Behold, he shall come up. And fly as the eagle. Fly as the eagle, the mm -hmm. one that exalts himself as the eagle, with the horses swift like the eagle as well, right? And where is he going to go? 
and spread his wings over Basra. Which is the West Bank, right. Jordan. That's where they're going to go to help the least of their flock to go and assist them. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's right. all you have my, Hey, finish the scripture. Yes, sir. <laughs> and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pain. So in that. that day, <laughs> in that day, Edom is going to be like women. Right. They are going to be sore. Mm. They are going to be broken. Hey, what you, hey, pull up them, uh, pull up them hypersonic missiles, uh, that, that we got, uh, that Officer, uh, Cosdia posted. Yeah, turn my background music right, up, man. Right man what, was that, what happened? Y'all done, y'all, 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 yeah. There we go. Mm. So this is a Russia ballistic missile. All right, Ooh. gotta blow that up. We can't even see. I can't see. Uh, blow it up a little bit. Look at the range in kilometers, bro. Mm. Sheesh! How many miles is two thousand kilometers? I don't. I don't know. I, I'm not ask, 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 ask Siri. I went to public ask, school. About ask Siri. 1,400. And those are missiles that Iran has, right? right. Russia gave Iran. They, yeah, exactly. It's crazy. Exactly. Look at this two. Th what is that? Two thousand kilometers. 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 That's, that's two thousand and forty-two miles. That's so, what. Mm. Twelve hundred and forty-two miles. So look up the. Uh, let's look up the distance between Iran and Israel. And, and they don't gotta. And listen, here's the thing about it. They don't have to shoot it from Iran because they have their allies right there. Exactly. Right. They can move. Yep. Right, they, they can move right on in a little closer if it's a little further than two like right. two thousand kilometers. This is what's dangerous. You are small and despised amongst the heathen. What you said, officer? It says the shortest route between Iran and Israel is one thousand three hundred thirty-seven miles. Damn. But it says the shortest distance airline between Iran and Israel is one thousand seventy-one miles. Oh, you hit. Right. You hit. You hit. For. Right. You hit, boy. It's over with. It's over with. Hey, let me get. Hey, first of all, I'm going to show you something. Go back to the Heat Check channel. Stroll all the way back up to October 6th. And I want the footage of the Iranian uh, ballistic missile impacting Israel. Mm. Show you this ain't no this ain't no game. They can they they can they can touch them folk for real. And them hypersonic missiles ain't no game, <laughs> bro. Them things are if serious. Drones getting through. Right. That's, that's what I'm saying. Right. right, the drones exactly. are dropping bombs. <laughs> can I pull one while they pulling? Yes, sir. About the iron. Can you get Job chapter twenty verse twenty four? Because it is in the Bible, and the prophets they wrote about it, and they wrote about it in ways that give clues as to what it is in today's day and age, in language that back then they would have been able to relate to. What they were seeing in the vision. Read. Job chapter 20, 20 verse, verse 24. Verse 24. Job chapter 20, verse 24. And he shall flee from the iron weapon. From the what? From the iron weapon. Read. And the bow of steel shall strike him through. Are bows made of steel in ancient times? Did they put no, like when they wood? wood. Yeah. Read. <clears throat> it is drawn and cometh out of the body. Talking about the body of the earth. What 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 bow mm. do you know in ancient times that the arrow or the weapon that is made of iron, by the way, comes up out of the ground or the body. Mm -hmm. Or uh, it's where it's released from is flush with the, with the ground. Read. Yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. The what? Glittering sword cometh out of his gall. So it's made of iron. It's made of metal. It's welded. It is shaped like a sword. And it's flying. And it has glitter or sparks of fire coming out from the back of it. Is this talking about a normal arrow? Christian church this simple as hell. Read. Terrors are upon him. That's all I got. Oh, praise. Hey, yeah. The first the first one that you played, you can play that one and play this one right here. Uh, play that one. Play the first one that you played first. Start that over. These are <clears throat> Iranian. But I don't even think these are the ballistic missiles. These right here, these right here are not the ballistic right. missiles. These right here, this is just a missile launch of them shooting into Israel. Those are jabs right there. Yeah, these are little jabs. You see that right there? It look, it, you, it, when you see them blow up in the air, most times they're intercepted. If it blows up in the air, that's what, that's what America is pushing in to Israel right now. Little right. interceptors to help them shoot down missiles before they even land. So if you see an explosion in the air, it's, it's been intercepted. Now, go to the next one. You can't intercept no, no no mess like this right here. Start it up. Here you go. Watch this. Wah bam! You see that? That is that is a ballistic. Oh. That is ballistic missiles. 
Thanks. You can't you can't stop that right, right. there. <laughs> like uh, you know how many interceptors you gotta have? Right. Word. Ballistic missiles got interceptors for your <laughs> interceptors exactly. to make sure that thing hit. Hey, we got we gotta stop playing games, man. Hey, I know we over the time. Let's get Zechariah chapter 14 real quick and start at verse 2. I know we over the time. Hey, you can let that play, loop, whatever you gotta do. But we can't play games right, with what's going on in the world today. We got to get our minds right, repent, keep these commandments, man. That's Read right. what you got. The book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 2. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem. All to of the nations are going to be gathered against Jerusalem. Come on. To battle. They're going to do what? To battle. To battle. Come on. And the city shall be taken. This is a prophecy. You cannot stop this. The city is going to be taken. Read. And the houses rifled. The houses are going to mm. be rifled. And the women ravished. Oh, they're going to, they women, they're gonna, they, we ain't raping no women. No. That's no. the mother nations, you know, they don't give a damn hell. That's the Arabs. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to be raping the hell out of y'all women. <laughs> they're going to rape the hell Jesus out your women, Christ. but nothing you can do. Come on. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity. Half of the city's going to go into captivity. Come on. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Come on. Then shall the Lord go forth. So after all of this destruction is taking place, then what? Then shall the Lord go forth. Then the Lord is going to come forth. He's coming with chariots and he's coming with fire. Come on. And fight against those nations. He's going to fight against those nations. Come on. As when he fought in the day of the battle. Uh-huh. And his feet shall stand in that day. Stop. You, you can drop there. Go to uh, Revelation 18. You can go to Revelation 18. Uh, let's see what I want. This is what we got to look forward to, man. This is what we. This is what. This is why we stay fervent in this truth. This is why we keep pushing for the day of the Lord to come because this is our salvation. You can start at verse six. Six. You can start at six, yeah. The Book of Revelations, chapter eighteen, and verse six. Freedom. Reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. In mm -hmm. the cup which she hath filled. Filled, filled to her double. So she's going to get double what she's done to us. Come on. And that she is America, that she is Amalek, that she is Edom, right. that she is the damn devil the Bible speak of. Come on. Right. How much she have glorified herself uh -huh. and lived deliciously. They've all lived deliciously. They've all lived off of the blood and the backs of our ancestors, and they still do that to this very day. Come on. Right. So much torment and sorrow give her. Much torment and sorrow she's going to get. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen. That's what these mm -hmm. Edomites, they say, I, I, who, who's going to touch me? Mm -hmm. I sit a queen. She sit on all of the waters all across the earth, ruling all countries and all all countries paying homage to America. Comfortable. Paying, comfortable. Off of, the, off of the blood diamonds. Off of the backs of our ancestors. Come on. And am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Come on. Therefore. She said what? She said what? Shall see no sorrow. You won't see no sorrow. No mm -hmm. destruction is coming unto me. That's Read. That pride. Exactly. Read. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. The Lord said them plagues are going to come in one day. What we're seeing right now, Christ prophesies in Matthew 24 that that's just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This ain't the end. This is the beginning of sorrow. Come on. Death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire. Uh -huh. For strong is the Lord God. Who judge of her. Strong is the Lord God that's going to judge America, that's going to judge Edom, that's going to judge all these nations after he mustered them to battle together. All right? right. All praise to the most high. That's been your heat check. Yep. More uh, coming next week. Hey, y'all stay tuned. I know we probably like two hours and some change <laughs> in right now on the final trumpet. And I don't know another way to cut this down. I'm sorry. We, right. we may never be a live show because we too long-winded. It is what it is. It right. is what it is. But hey, all praise to the most high. Hey, look, make sure y'all follow, like, subscribe, hey, share the content. Um, definitely uh check out the uh footage that we're about to run with our missing persons. If you see any of these individuals, make sure you reach out to uh local law enforcement. If you want to donate, which you need to donate, see I got it right today, right on time. Yeah. All right hey. there. Donate right there. I can't get my hand all the way over there because my laptop time anyway. That's it. Oh, right. Oh, damn. I'm trying to go behind org. Donate right there 
to the booster club so that we can go out to the Congo so that we can send the bishops, deacons, and the captains all across the four corners of the earth to reach our people and make let them get this gospel, let them get this message that we're the Israelites and that we're living in the time prophesied of in the Bible, all right? If you want to donate to the radio show, then you can send those funds to iuic.columbia.sc at israelunite.org. Don't worry, we're going to start getting into the books, maybe a little clip here and there. You know what I'm saying? We can't do the hidden history thing because they got the doctrine slayer over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All praise to the most side. But that's been your uh, final Trump radio show for today. I'm your host, Captain Kalaya. To my right. Officer Aton. To my far right. Officer you want To my far, far right. Officer like him. And to my left. Officer you want to talk about. Far left. Officer Marshall. Far, far left. Officer Kaz. And I'll read it today. Officer Yehoshua. And that's been another episode of the final Trump radio show, y'all. <laughs> Push this thing to me. In a world hanging by the threads of chaos and despair, the Almighty has spoken. He calls his chosen those who bear his divine might and saviors. We live in the book of the Acts. I carry my cross on my back. My home is still stuck in the trap. Go hard, ain't no time to relax. Keeping my mind on the throne. Applying the stuff I've been shown. Been pictures through all of my walls. Been pictures through all of my walls. And now I'm here painting this picture. It came from the scriptures. I'm changing my mind now. And I've been examples. I see some examples. So what pick is just about time now? To break the whole habits to clean off the addicts. And yes, we are changing our life now. And when life give us lemons, we turn it to vengeance. We're stronger than Lord and His might now. Since I just cannot stay the same Wisdom I've been given has been helping with the pain The people that I love, they think that I've gone insane When it gets pretty and look at real life, they pull up and smart, they fade, yeah It's a blood in my veins, yeah I cannot stay with my pain, yeah But it needs to be the change, yeah But it needs to be the change, yeah I'm alone and I'm the pain, yeah So I'm just switching my veins, yeah Straight to the religion, it's only your view to stay true and some tripping. Angel, if you got no clue what you slipping, it's time to renew and stop foolishly sinning. Cause we the ones set apart from the beginning. All that is filled with the thing that's forbidden. Walking in life and I fool with no vision. I'm moving like fucks to my mind, steady swimming.